Hello world! I am your host Bunny and this is Awesome Knots. Gna was released today. I still don't have a build for him, so I'm not gonna post a build. Instead, I'm gonna show you my newfound love, which is Exosic, Mr. TNT, and Incendiary Dynamites. The game has just started. We're about at 600 solar ish, and that should be about, what, two minutes in or something like that? That's okay. We can work with that. Having played around, I I really, really enjoy Lone Star actually. The more I play him, at first he seemed rather weak, but now it's just having learned how to use the dynamite properly have made him so much fun. Incendiary grenades, or dynamite, I should really look up the names on these things, is amazing. So, Gnaw was released today. This is his little seedling. He puts out turrets, and the goo on the ground that you can see just under him is. His Acid Spit. Those are his two abilities. He's very, very defensive. His medium speed, very low damage output, as far as I've seen so far. And his, he has a, a lot of dots. His bite make, does dot damage. His spit does dot damage. And for some people, I realize he might feel a little, seem at least a little bit overpowered. And I'll just give you one tip right away. Go heal as soon as you're dotted up. That just removes the dot. I'm quite sure Voltar is insanely powerful against him. I haven't seen too many Voltars either. Also, as you notice here, the healing has been slowed down in base, which is, in theory, a very, very big nerf for Clunk. Because when he's at full health on a HP build, he's, he's gonna take forever to heal up again. Takes forever to kill as well, but still. So, we're just running with grenades today, we're skipping bull altogether. We might get him later on when we have everything else in the dynamite tree. But for now, we're keeping Leon at bay because Leon can't get close to us. We're keeping the turrets away from Gnaw because he likes to put these up and make little bases and nest. We don't like nesting when we're not playing Gnaw. There we go. As far as an introductory video for him, I think I'm gonna do one tomorrow that's just showing him off and what he's got going, but I'd at least like to be fairly confident in playing him before I show him off, it feels, it feels so bad to just, hey, here's a character, and I'm dying nine times in this video and I don't get a single kill, but that's how it looks like, that's, I don't know, it's not fun to watch, is it? So, we're gonna keep checking here, because you can also love to put their turrets in hidden areas where you can't see and you have to jump in and then you get shot for lots of damage. We're gonna go back, we're gonna get Mr. TNT and this is where the fun starts. I've removed the blind from him and using Mr. TNT for now simply because that you can hit everything and even when people think that they're gonna get away they're not gonna get away. As you see, double kill. I approve. So much fun, so easy. Well, not easy to play, it takes practice to get the dynamite up and get hits, but... It's so easy to do against people who aren't that aware of how it works. And for those that just are gonna be screaming OP right now, Lone Star is not overpowered by any stretch of the imagination. The simple solution to not getting blown away by Lone Star get one health upgrade and you're pretty much set to survive his explosions. Also try to not stand in a dynamite, obviously, that helps a lot. Health regen also very useful against Lone Star because, again, 5 second cooldown on the dynamite and the bull is on something like that as well. And you can just jump or dive under the dynamite and get away from them. But it's fun. It's a... Uh, Nice to see games where I take people by surprise with it. Also, it's uh, I've been playing him a little bit, to be honest, to get up in rank a little bit. I fell down to 130-something and felt a little bad to be under 100 when it comes to making videos and trying to tell people good ways to play the game. So, Gnos, Gnos, Gnos everywhere. You're gonna see them for a while, but I suspect as soon as people have tried them out enough, they're probably gonna go back to whatever they were playing before. Gnaw isn't 
an amazing character. It takes a lot of strategy and planning to get up and I've also noticed that his worst enemy is Clunk easily. There's nothing I can do against Clunk with my li tiny little acid spit and turrets. Clunk just explodes once, kills all the turrets and then bites you in the face and your dot is pretty much nullified. So it'll be interesting to make an anti-Clunk build on that one and surprise people. But for now, if you're afraid of uh, Gnaw, just go with a Clunk health build and he's nothing to you. And don't forget to pop his turrets as often as you possibly can, or seedlings, whatever you might call them. And here comes Gnaw again. He's also, as you notice, a melee character, so he has no range to speak of, which makes him very easy to take care of for everyone else. Except possibly Leon. I, I'm i not sure if I have that video left of uh, playing Gnaw against Leon and just keeping him dotted up. It's It doesn't do enough damage, but... Uh, Gnaw's little dot makes a blue cloud, or purple cloud I suppose it is, on Leon even when he's invisible, so you can chase him down so far because the dot is so long. So much fun, so annoying to play Leon against him. And we are in base, we still just using dynamite, exploding all over, not hitting too much, but keeps people from doing things. And there you see, that's how much Gnaw can make in damage without proper upgrades with the melee attack and there we see little Leon stuck and dead he is. So let's get back to base now that we're pushing there. We're gonna push out the other two turrets as well because we're dominating so much right now and as they say when you're ahead get more ahead. That's the right way to play all the games really. If you get an advantage keep increasing that advantage as long as you can. And Froggy G just getting away, the lucky lucky bastard this time. I'll get back to him. There we go. And we're now going to use the bowl a little bit to speed things up. That's the main reason I'm using the bowl, really. Because we're not facing any contest. Does that bowl now have a dynamite strap to itself? I haven't noticed that one until now. Let's check that again. Yep, that's a bomb strap him. He didn't, did he have that before? I'm not sure. Anyways, we're gonna finish this game off and I'm gonna go back to building a Gnaw build that works. If you have a Gnaw build, please let me know about it if it works out well. Preferably with the first three to four abilities in each tree because, again, I like doing newbie friendly builds first when you don't have to unlock stuff more than the character to blame. Hasn't worked out too well for me so far, and down goes Froggy G. Not my kill, but I'm okay with that. And where did Leon go? Oh, okay. Well, he's gone. That's okay. Either way, this is how I play Lone Star now. Big, explosive, and very, very annoying to everyone except myself. You know, trying to be funny again, not doing much damage. Putting a uh, seedling up doesn't do much either. Exploding him. Anyways, this is pretty much GG. I hope you enjoyed this, and again, let me know if you have any builds for Gnaw. We're all in this together, and I'd love to hear about it. And... GG. I have been your host, Bunny. You have been the audience. This has been Awesome Nods. Thank you for watching. Toodles!